How's it going guys? Eric here from TechEsode TV and in today's TechEsode, we're going to be taking a look at Samsung's best kept secret on the Galaxy Note 5. That secret is S-Note. At first glance, S-Note looks like a pretty basic note and drawing application. But if you tap more in the upper right corner, then tap more features, you'll find four extension packs to download. Once downloaded, you'll gain a host of mind-blowing features. Let's start by taking a look at the insert icon at the top. When you tap that, you get a large list of things that you can add to the note. You can insert an image from your gallery, take a picture and automatically insert it into the image in one step, or insert a photo note. This feature allows you to take a picture of any list, blackboard, whiteboard, or anything else, then automatically reorient the photo to look like you took it from directly in front of the object. If things didn't line up quite right, you could tap crop to adjust the orientation. Once you're done with that, you can cut the photo into independent sections which allow you to quickly rearrange things in the photo later on. I'll demonstrate that in a moment, but first, let's look at the rest of the setup process. Once you're done cutting, you can use the white background effect to remove the background from the image if you took a picture of a whiteboard, piece of paper, or anything else that has dark text on a light colored background. Alternatively, you could use the non-white effect if you took a picture of a blackboard to make the chalk easier to see. After that, tap Done in the upper right corner to import the image into S-Note. Now you can drag, resize, rotate, and change the order of the images in the S-Note. As you can see, all the sections I cropped are now broken up into independently editable images. If we take a look back at the Insert menu, we see that there's an option to add a voice recording if you want to explain something to someone that you'll be sharing this note with. You can even add voice tags that you can move around the note. Each tag will only play the audio recorded after the tag was created, so you can have only the relevant audio play for different parts of the note. You can also add tags after the recording is finished. Once you've placed your tags, just select one of them to give it a relevant name. Going back to the Insert menu, you'll see an illustration option. In there, you'll find standard clip art as well as dynamic shapes. Depending on the shape you select, you'll get different modification options. And trust me, there are a ton of different modification options. Back in the Insert menu, there's a clipboard option to paste anything that you've recently copied from any application on your Note 5 into the Note. There's also an option to add anything from your scrapbook to the Note. And, depending on what image you pull from the scrapbook, S-Note may even extract all the text from the image and include it as editable text. To the right of the scrapbook option in the Insert menu, we see the Easy Chart option. This allows you to quickly create a table or a few different types of charts. To create a table, just drag to select how large you want the table to be. If you want even more rows or columns, just tap the row or column dropdowns. Once your chart is set up, just tap in a cell to edit it. If you don't want a table, you can create a bar chart where all you have to do is draw the bars in with the S Pen. To adjust the bars, just tap one to select it, then drag it, or tap the pen icon to handwrite a new value. If you tap the number itself, you can enter a number with the keyboard instead. You can also create line charts by drawing a line, then tapping to add more lines. You can modify the lines the same way you modify the bars. The last type of chart is a pie chart that can be edited in the same way. Just draw the divisions by hand, then fine tune them. And if at any point you decide you want a different type of chart, just tap the chart label in the upper left corner, then select a different chart type. Everything will be converted automatically. Once you're done, just tap Save to add it to your note. Then, if you want to change it later, just select the chart and tap Edit Chart. Lastly, you could also quickly create a chart based off of one of your recent charts by tapping the From History option in the Insert Chart menu. The last option in the Insert menu is Idea Sketch. This allows you to search for a drawing of something specific to add to your note. Just write down whatever you're looking for, and S-Note will search through its database to try to find a drawing that matches what you're looking for. If you can't find what you're looking for, you can create your own sketch and add it to your database. You can also just browse available images if you're not sure what you're looking for. Once you find what you want, just tap it to add it to the note. Now that you know how to insert media into your note, let's take a look at the writing tools. This is where Samsung's Note series really sets itself apart from other devices. If you tap the pen icon in the upper left corner, you'll switch to writing mode. If you tap the pen icon a second time, you'll pull up the settings menu where you're met with seven different types of writing tools. You can change the thickness of the line and the color for every pen. There's even an eyedropper if you want to match the color to something that's already in the note. To use this, just tap the eyedropper, tap the color you want to use, then tap the X on the eyedropper pop-up. You can also tap the color to go back to the pen settings. 
Looking at the writing tools themselves, you get a standard fountain pen that is sensitive to how hard you press the S Pen down. So, if you press lightly, you get a very thin line, and if you press harder, you get a very thick line. You get a calligraphy pen for stylized writing. A regular pen, which is sensitive to both how hard you press down and how fast you move the pen. A pencil that is pressure sensitive and simulates the graphite of a real pencil. A highlighter with variable transparency for highlighting things. A calligraphy brush, which is extremely pressure sensitive. And of course, a correction pen, which acts as an eraser with a variable amount of erasing power. You should also know that the Note 5 has palm rejection no matter which app you're using. So, anytime you have the S Pen either close to or touching the screen, the phone ignores your hand so you don't accidentally hit the recent apps button, the back button, or any on-screen buttons. If the S Pen isn't close to the screen, you can use your fingers to zoom in and out of the note, pan around the note, or flick between pages in the note. To the right of the pen icon, you have a standard eraser. Tap it once to switch to the eraser tool, then tap it again to open the settings for the eraser. You can erase by stroke, erase by touched area, or even erase everything in one shot if you want to start over. To the right of the eraser icon, you have a text box tool. Tapping this adds a text box to your note. You can change the font style, the font size, make it bold, italicized, or underlined, change the color, add bullets, and change the justification. Further to the right is a selection tool. Tap this once to enter selection mode, then tap it again to see the selection mode settings. You can either use a lasso selector, which allows you to draw a shape around the objects you want to select, or you can use a rectangular selector, which selects objects within the bounds of a rectangle that you draw. You can also select objects by holding down the S Pen button, then tapping an object, or by holding down the S Pen button, then dragging a rectangle around the objects you want to select. The last two tools at the top are simply Undo and Redo. Looking to the bottom left corner, we see three more options. The furthest to the left is a favorite pens icon. Tap that to bring up a list of your favorite pens. If you haven't saved any pens to your favorites, tap the plus icon. If you want to simply save the pen you're currently using, just tap add. If you want to add another favorite, tap the plus icon, change the pen settings to your liking, then tap add again. This is a great feature if you often use two different versions of the same pen and don't want to adjust the settings every time you switch between the pens. Next to the favorite pen icon is shape recognition mode. If you turn this on, S-Note will automatically convert your hand-drawn shape to a refined shape. S-Note can recognize many different types of shapes, so definitely don't hold back. Once the shape is converted to a refined shape, you can add text to it by selecting the shape, then tapping the center of it. If you tap the properties icon, you can change the font of the text, the alignment and line spacing, the thickness, type, and color of the shape's lines, and both the fill color and transparency. And you can modify the shape by dragging the yellow boxes around. When you're done drawing shapes, just tap the shape icon again to go back to normal drawing mode. Further to the right is a magnifier button. When you tap that, a portion of the screen will be magnified so you can make very detailed edits. You can move the magnifying window either by dragging it around or by tapping the arrows above the drawing window. The drawing window can also be moved by dragging from the three horizontal lines. You can also resize the magnifying window by dragging the triangle in the corner. However, you cannot resize the drawing window. Lastly, there's an adjustable vertical divider in the drawing window. When you draw on the blue side of this window, the magnified section will shift to the right the next time you lift your pen. This makes it so you don't have to keep moving the window around every time you want to start drawing further to the right. The last option at the bottom is used for adding new pages by tapping the plus icon, or for navigating between pages. If you tap the page numbers, you can edit the pages directly, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Looking back at the top of the page, there's a save option which, you know, saves the note. Then to the right of that, there is a more menu. If you tap that, you get a bunch more options. The first option is to add another page to the note. The second option is to manage your pages which allows you to reorder the pages, delete pages, Add the note to your favorite section, share a single page or a group of pages in various formats, export a page or multiple pages as a PDF or image file and save it directly to your note 5, copy pages within the same note or to another note, and move pages to another note. Going back to the More menu, there's a Background Settings option which allows you to change the background of the note if you want a template background, a different color background, 
or a custom image as the background. Below the background option in the More menu, there's a Show Magnified Note option, which simply opens the same magnifier feature I showed you earlier. Below the Magnified Note option is a Record Sketching option, which allows you to record the screen while you're drawing, then play it back later. This is great for giving someone more detailed instructions on changes you want to make to a project. And by the way, not only can you share your project with any other Galaxy Note users, but you can also share it with anyone who installs the S-Note application on their Windows-based computer. If they don't have either of those, you can still share the note as a PDF, image, or text file, but they won't be able to see any recorded sketching. However, you can send them any audio you recorded separately. The More menu also gives you the ability to reduce or extend the toolbar. You can also do this by swiping to the right or left on the toolbar itself. The last option in the More menu allows you to add tags to your note so you can search for it later with S-Finder. If you select something that was hand-drawn, you get a few options to modify the drawing. If you tap Properties, you can move the object behind or in front of other objects, or change the line thickness and color. You can also cut, copy, and delete the selected object. If you want to paste an object that you cut or copied, just long press on the screen wherever you want to paste the object, then tap Paste. Lastly, there's one of the coolest features. If you tap Transform, you get options to convert your hand-drawn shape to a refined shape, convert your handwritten formulas to printed formulas, convert handwriting to printed text, and convert a shape with text to a refined shape with printed text. There are just a few more features I need to show you back at the start screen. If you hover the S Pen over a note, you can see the contents of the note. If you tap the drop-down in the upper left corner, you can filter which notes you want to see. You can even set up custom categories to further organize your notes. If you select a note either by tapping More, Edit, then selecting a note, or by long pressing on a note, you can then tap More in the upper right corner to export the note like I showed you earlier. You can also copy or move a note into a different category. Further down, you can change the name of the note as well as what the cover looks like. Just tap the cover you want to use, then tap the name to change it. Back in the More menu, you can add or remove the note from your favorites, lock the note with an alphanumeric password that's different than the password you use to lock your phone, or move it to private which uses your phone's lock method for security, whether it be a password or fingerprint. If you tap More when you don't have a note selected, you get the added options of sharing your note, importing a PDF to mark up or sign, manage the categories that I showed you earlier, manually sync your notes either with Evernote or your Samsung account, change your settings, which consists of switching the account to sync your notes with, as well as enabling finger drawing and changing the default covers for new notes. The last two options in the More menu are More Features, which I showed you in the beginning of this video, and a Help menu, which explains a few features that I've already discussed in great detail. The last thing to point out is a little arrow on the bottom right, which reveals shortcuts to start a note with a photo note, a voice recording, or text. You can also directly create a new action memo from this menu. The pen icon in the bottom right corner just creates a new blank note as you saw in the beginning of this video. So there you have it, Samsung's best kept secret on the Galaxy Note 5 revealed. If you guys missed my other Note 5 coverage, like my top 100 reasons to buy the Galaxy Note 5, you can check that out by clicking the banner above or the links in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop it a like and share it on social networks to help the channel grow. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.